Yo, what's up, guys? It's Power Rangers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Um, saw a couple of videos that I liked. Movie and TV me, I'll, I'll check your video out after this. And I might make a another video comment about your offensive linemen and stuff like that. But I'll get to that later. Saw a lot of videos that I liked, again. Uh, let's see. Um, Shango, saw your... Dallas Cowboys show video. You got you're at training camp. The Dallas Cowboys. Uh good to see that you guys are happy. Uh that's all I have to say about that. Halen, saw your video. Yes, I am friends with uh I would call myself a friend of Mike and Ike's. Wouldn't doubt that. You have a problem with that? Uh, but I I don't understand why you think it's cool, but you don't like it. Not very clear to me. Anyway, oh and oh, I'll I'll get to this first. Anyway, movie and TV me. I wrote your uh, questions down on this piece of paper. And I will answer your questions. Alright. Does DMAC come back ready to play? Yesterday he said he was 75%. Um, come to season time, I think he'll be about 95%. So yeah, I think he'll come ready to play this season. Number two quarterback, I think will be... AJ Feely, I don't know. Kelly Holcomb doesn't doesn't even sound good at all. I definitely like JP Lossman last year better than him. I think that the Bills wanted to get rid of him anyway, so they just laid him on our laps. I think AJ Feely's way better. Put up over three touchdowns against three touchdowns, three hundred yards, zero interceptions against the Atlanta Falcons last year with our backups. Does Brian Westbrook become great Pro Bowl running back? Yes, I think he does. Uh, I'm a big fan of the three musketeers. Woo! I don't like Ryan Motes at all. I think it's going to be Westbrook, Buck Holter, and Tony Hunt. I remember the three, mu the three musketeers in the day. Deuce Staley, Buck Halter, and Westbrook, 2003. I think they got to go back to that. That was a that was a great season. All three running backs combined for about a 1,800 yards. I think Westbrook had 700 yards rushing. Staley had 400 yards rushing, and Buck Halter had like 800 yards rushing. Westy's successor will be, I don't think that anyone on the team right now will be Westbrook's successor. Westbrook's successor will come in later years. And that's all from there. I wanted to talk about a very sensitive subject today. As Techcentric already said, the great Bill Walsh uh, died at age 75 of a of leukemia, a disease he's been fighting for about two or three years. I remember about two years ago when uh, I live I live about 35 miles away from, or maybe, I live pretty close to San Francisco, and we get a newspaper called the San Jose Mercury News, and inside it said, um, Bill Barcells is very sick, you know, and I was like, yeah, right, he looks fine. I think it was definitely something that was put on the down low. Today I was walking around and I saw some people crying and I was like, I asked them why they were crying. They were my neighbors and they're like, Bill Walsh died. And I was like, oh. what a great, what a great guy. What a great class act. Some, some great coaches came out of, uh, came out of there.
he taught Mike Holmgren and Ray Rhodes. Mike Holmgren coached the Green Bay Packers. He gave his passion to Mike Shanahan. No, not Mike Shanahan. Steve Mariucci, Mike, Randy Reed. Like I said, uh, John Gruden, Mike Sherman. They've been just passing it all down. So he he came up with that offense as a Brown. You know, won three three Super Bowl rings, and is great. Was a great head coach. He he deserves all the praise in the world. Um, you know, movie and TV me. I'll watch your offensive lineman video, and I might make some comments, a video comment on it. So. That's all I have to say. That's all I have to say. So, see ya. Peace. Vertical paper, rock, paper, scissors. You lose, because you have vertical paper. Yeah, I'm just wondering if anyone's ever seen uh, the rock, paper, scissors championship. Pretty interesting. I've Vertical paper. So that's all. See ya.